Here we are at the Emirates Arena in the east end of Glasgow for the Investors and People Outperformance Conference 2015 and I'm joined by David Marquet, uh, Captain David Marquet, um, who's going to be opening the conference um, with an, a different take on the art of leadership. So David, uh, outline to us, give us a sense of your main <laughs> themes today. I used to think leaders took control, they were firm, they were bold, they were confident, they gave orders and I now call those people bosses as opposed to leaders. What leaders do is they give control and they create more leaders around them and they allow their teams to become the centerpiece, the spotlight, not the spotlight being on them. In some ways, do you think your approach challenges the traditional view that a great leader develops great followers and leaders across the park? Yeah, it's 100 percent challenging the um, uh, traditional view. My thought on leaders and followers are we certainly, you know, we're all leaders in a sense that we all have responsibility for our actions, but we're also followers in a sense that we're all following the purpose of the organization, including the, the leader of the organization is following just like everybody else. So we're all moving in the same direction. Uh, what I think is not helpful is when we kind of say, I'm attached to you, the person, and it becomes this sort of feudal society, which a lot of businesses are that I've seen have run that way. So one of the roles of investors and people is to identify good practice in the way in which people are being led and managed and developed, and that's why uh, we're so interested in talking to you. What's your sense in terms of how this proposition and how the message is reaching out into organizations beyond the impact that you had in the U.S. Navy? Yeah, I, well, I don't really sell this. People come to me who say, I'm frustrated with the way things are. Either they're bosses who say, like, my people have no passion, they have no energy, what's going on? Or they're the, the teams that say, my boss is a micromanager and doesn't trust me. And then, they, and then they say, well, how can we do something better? How can we do something more? And I think as people move from, think, from doing to thinking, this is, this, is the, this is the key. This is the way you do it. And for me, it's really exciting to be in Scotland because, uh, you know, when I was growing up, I was kind of a history buff, a kind of a geeky history buff. And, you know, Scotland just played this outsized role in the world uh, of invention, of literature, of the Enlightenment. And, you know, it's a dark world. We need a new Enlightenment. It's a dark world out there. There's a lot of darkness. And I'm really excited because I think Scotland has the opportunity to play the role again, leading the way to a better place for the human race. And it's, and it's great to have you here. And of course, this afternoon, you'll be spending some time with some of the investors and people specialists, yeah. helping them to understand how they can take some of the tools and spread the word and spreading the word. Yeah. So here's to the future. Yeah, okay. here's to the future. Thank you, David. Okay.